Hi, I'm back here at Shea Josephine Restaurant on Theatre Row with our show shows Play by Play. I'm joined with my friend and colleague from New York One on stage, Frank DeLella, and we're welcoming Pam McKinnon, the director who just followed up her triumphant production of Clybourne Park with Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, which earned rave reviews across the board. Congratulations. Thank you. As a longtime collaborator with Edward Albee on his work, what was the one thing about this monumental piece that you wanted to uncover in this revival? It's a play that is, you know, sort of the, the grandfather of modern American theater <laughs> in, in many respects, or contemporary American theater. And so it did at times, early, early on, feel a little intimidating mm -hmm. of like, what do I owe productions that have come before? The movie is a very iconic film. And then getting into the rehearsal hall, it that all rapidly faded away. And it was about working with this constellation of actors. So it was really important to me to invest in all four characters and really have at the center of it this love story between George and Martha. Tracy Lutz is obviously who plays George, is obviously a playwright as well, August Osage County and many other plays. Did he have to does he check that hat at the door entirely when he comes into this role? It's not about, you know, challenging the writing of the play and especially, you know, it's such a great play. What, like like what is there to challenge? But it is I mean, he he is always a writer. He is always an actor. Um, he is, you know, a real uh, man of the theater, and so you know, to have his smarts, to have his interest in language, to have his intellect, to you know, have you know, you, you know, you can read *Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf* as a true piece of footnotable literature, and Tracy has that at mm. the ready, mm -hmm. and I think that comes from being a writer, being a man of letters, and so you know, he checks it in the sense that he, his project was to really flesh out this character of George, and that takes so much time and emotional effort and intellectual effort, but how great to have a man who loves language tackling this role. Talk to me more about, you know, those four actors and really getting that ensemble feel with this production. Yeah, I mean, a really exciting thing, Amy Morton and Tracy Letts, my mm -hmm. Martha and my George, um, are in the Steppenwolf company, mm -hmm. and they've been on stage together uh, for I, I want to say like 22, 23 years. They know each other. Um, they trust each other on stage. And so I was very fortunate to step into, especially a marriage play, mm -hmm. with you know people who in, in many respects are sort of artistically married. Mm -hmm. uh, and then my other two wonderful actors, Madison Dirks and Carrie Coon, I met in auditions. You know, in our first couple weeks in rehearsal, um, I have to imagine that it was a little intimidating for them, and that's not a bad thing for Nick and Honey to have a little bit of like nerves in the belly. Right. Yeah. Um, and then gradually, in doing it, and then we hopped it to arena stage, it really became a true ensemble. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Frank. Thank you. Patrick. And that's it for this edition of Play by Play. Until next time, you can read Play by Play at artinfo.com, and you can see previous episodes. Thank you for joining us. Mm -hmm.